Hey y'all, Cody here with Seven Lakes Realty. I've got another home to show you today. If you're interested in this home, give me a call or shoot me a text. My number should be here on the screen. I'll get you more information or I'll get you over there to see it. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the description box below, there will be a link that will take you to Realtor.com that will give you even more details on the property. Now, of course, we're going to do a video tour of the property, but before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about this property. This property is located in Decatur County, about 10 minutes from the town of Parsons. Decatur County is also about the halfway point between Memphis and Nashville, and this property just happens to sit close to the interstate if you wanted to go to either one of those cities. If you enjoy getting the boat out on the water, this property is also located close to the Tennessee River. And if you like all things outdoors, this property is located close to Natchez Trace State Park that has horseback riding trails, hiking trails, campgrounds, and several lakes. Some specifics about this property, it is a brick home sitting on five acres of land. It's been completely renovated, new flooring throughout, new can lights, new double hung windows, the roof is less than two years old, the central unit is about three months old, stainless kitchen appliances, and a new hot water heater. This property also has two wells. There's a well for the house, and then there is a well on the back side of the property that a person could put some type of in-law suite there, or if they wanted to build an extra shop or garage or something on the back side that had running water, a person could do that as well. And so with that, let's get into the video tour. We're going to start out in the living room, and these are those floors that I was talking about. It's throughout most of the house. You can see the windows here that gives you a view out into the large front yard. The can lights in the ceiling as you can see also have a dimmer switch so you can make them really bright or really dim depending on the mood you're in. Coming through this walkway that leads into the kitchen on the right takes you out to the garage. This garage floor was just done in acrylic. Now a look at the kitchen with the stainless appliances, new cooktop built into the countertop. These countertops are also new. Behind the kitchen is a little dining area with a view into the backyard. Coming back down the hallway, these lights are also on the dimmer switch. The first door on the right takes you into the bathroom. We have a new vanity here, new shower here, tile in the shower. a linen closet right here beside the commode. This bathroom is attached into the master bedroom. Again, new windows in this room, new windows throughout the whole house. Flooring continues into this room. Across the hall will be the second bedroom. This bedroom also faces out into the large front yard. Coming back down the hall, the next door on your right will be the third bedroom. Mm -hmm. 
As we come out of the third bedroom back across the living room, this room will take you into another half bath with a new vanity and a commode in here. This doorway will also take you back out into the garage. And on the other side of this half bath is your utility room. This is where your washer and dryer hookups are. And this is where the water heater is at. And I wanted you to know at the bottom of this water heater, at this pan, there's a little spigot that comes through that goes down under, under the house. In case this heater was to ever bust, this floor shouldn't be flooded. It should just go right down underneath the house. That's what the intention was when putting this like this. So that's going to do it for this property tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you're interested in this house, give me a call. I'll get you more information on it. I'll get you over there to see it. If you're watching on YouTube, you can look at it on realtor.com in the description box below. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.